Guys, years ago, Nick Bonner came up with the idea of air-powered tree access, or APTA, and they've been polishing this product at Tree Stuff. Now I think they've got a first-class professional productivity tool. I like it. I recommend it. If, if I were a young guy with sharp eyes and strong arms, I would use it just as it comes out of the box from Tree Stuff but I'm not. And what I'm gonna show you in this video is three customizations that make it work for an old fart. A sight, a lighter trigger, and a bracing mechanism, and getting rid of the bike pump. Now, you notice I said customizations, not improvements, because some of you are gonna look at this and say, hey, I don't need to do that. And you're absolutely right, um, but I hope seeing the uh, the modifications might be useful to you as you uh, as you use the device. So with that, let's go take a look at the APTA Old Fart Edition. Guys, here's the APTA Old Fart Edition. Um, the first thing I did with this thing was to stick a red dot on it. And um, if you don't know what a red dot sight is, I'm going to do a very very crude demonstration here. The APTA is pointed at a roll of electrical tape propped up against the wall. The thing you need to notice is there's no red dot on the wall. This is not a projection laser. Um, we'll get back into position about a foot behind the, uh, the red dot site, and you'll see an apparent reticle, red reticle, on the, uh, on the roll of electrical tape. And even as I move my head left and right and up and down, um, the dot stays where you're pointing the apto, which is exactly what you want. Um, this is a great help to a shooter like me. I have to shoot left eye dominant. Uh, I'm a right-hander, and head position is not easy for me to control. So the apto fix or the red dot fixes all that for me. The other thing is. It's not a projection laser, and so it doesn't dim out with a distance when you're aiming high in the tree. And, and, and uh, you can even aim at a blue sky and still see the reticle to judge how much uh, loft you want to put in over the branch. So um, uh, it's, it's a piece of optical trickery, and what's truly amazing is that the prices have crashed on them. And you can get these things now, new and used, on eBay for uh, 5 to $25. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a no-brainer, and it's a terrific addition to the, to the APTA. As soon as I got the red dot in, it became instantly apparent that I didn't have the arm strength to hold a steady sight picture while I was releasing the big valve. So I sized down the inch and a half pipe, took off the original pressure chamber, and went to a one inch pressure chamber, four feet long. And that gave me a valve that was one third the operating torque. Huge difference um, when you uh, release the valve quickly. Um, much easier to hold the sight position. And then the length of the chamber gave me two other shooting positions. And I'll show you this outside, the bazooka and the mortar. And the mortar particularly um, allows me to brace the unit and controls the recoil of the unit. Um, I'll show you all that outside. The third thing that I did was to get rid of the bike pump. Um, you'll see these pressure cartridges, these CO2 pressure cartridges in use outside, and um, they screw right into uh, the standard Schrader valve, and um, you can get them at a bike shop or buy them in quantity of 30 on eBay for less than $1 a shot. Um, I think they're very professional, very consistent, and much easier to work with. I'll show you that outside. Guys, here's the, uh, the APTA Old Fart Edition, the original uh, uh, tree stuff uh, barrel, the red dot, 
the reduction uh, coupling, the one inch chamber, four feet long, the Presta valve down here tapped into the side. And uh, what, in, instead of shooting this like a rifle, where you put it into the shoulder and have it, have all the weight in front of you, you shoot it as a bazooka, you get some balance to the length of it, you get get your uh, chops down uh, to see the red dot sight, and you can get um, a nice quick uh, release on the on the valve, much lighter. The bazooka, you want to lock your arm to to do what you can to uh, to uh, to minimize the uh, kickback from the launch of the bag. Um, the other position which I favor is to shoot it as a mortar. You come down, take your sight, and now you're braced against the ground and against your legs, and you just pull the valve down, and you can see there's very little, almost no uh, motion um, from, the, uh, from the barrel. What I'm going to do here, I've got 185 feet of throw line in the bucket here, and just for grins, I'm going to take a vertical shot so you can get some sense of here let me turn around so you can see what I'm doing you get some sense of um, how the thing handles uh, oops I did that wrong Nick's instructions are ring down in the barrel so ring down in the barrel and set it and I'm shooting with a 16 ounce uh, cartridge sixteen ounce cartridge and boom you got about uh, uh, oh, about 230 pounds in the chamber now and I'm gonna fire it from the from the mortar position and keep an eye on the uh, stability of the muzzle when I let it go and then I'm not going to be um, I'm not going to be uh, professional or dignified I'm going to lay this thing down after I fire it off and go get in the shelter of the building just uh, in case I lose sight of it I don't have my helmet on I don't want to be under this uh, this throw bag so 185 feet of throw line, about 230 pounds in the barrel, mortar position, ready, aim, fire, and get the hell out! And there we are, and there's a little bit of line left in the throw bag uh, in the uh, throw bucket but not very much out of 180 85 feet it pulled out uh, virtually all of it guys this is not going to be an easy uh, shot to shoot uh, so I'll show you the setup here the throw line has 180 feet of throw line I've already um, uh, uh, put the bag in the front end of the APTA uh, you see the um, cartridges I'm going to use, that's a 16 uh, gram cartridge. I'm going to, my target is here. I'm going to aim very high in the tree, much higher than I would um, climb on and set a uh, friction saver on. But um, uh, there's some feathery crotches right at the top of this that the stick trick tells me are, are at about 105 feet. And so that's my target. So there's the equipment on the on the ground. That's my target tree. And I'm going for just lofting it to the tallest little uh, crotch I can get in the crown. It's uh, it's up there at least 105 feet and uh, just to show off uh, uh, what the equipment can do. 
Okay, I'll kind of narrate this as it goes along. The throw bag is already in the APTA. We're going to uh, uh, put on the uh, Schrader valve uh, uh, adapter and screw in a 16 gram cartridge. It's loaded and we're going to turn on the red dot and shoot from the mortar position. First thing I'll do is is find the reticle. Okay, got it. And take aim. Brace and shoot. And let's see what we've got. There's the target, and we're coming up. It's actually too bright out here for me to see this in the, um, in the sunlight. I can't see the monitor well enough in the sunlight so I'm just gonna pan the area and then we'll look for uh, we'll look for the throw line uh, when I do the editing I don't see it right now because it's, like I said, it's very bad uh, viewing for the monitor. But I'm pretty sure it's up there and we'll see. Guys, this video is going to be an example of why it's better to be lucky than good. I nailed it, absolutely nailed it on the first shot. This is the first and only shot of the video and I absolutely nailed it. Guys, I don't have to tell you, that was one lucky shot. Um, I, think, um, I think you've pretty much seen what there is to see about the APTA OF. Uh, there's one more thing I'm going to do on this project, which I think is important. I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm going to install a small poppet valve down here to protect against overpressure. I really think that's a must uh, any time the tool is being handled by... Uh, by more than one person. You got to respect these cartridges. Uh, there's seven or eight hundred PSI hiding in here and if you put in two of them or you inject this into a volume that is too small you've got the makings of a serious bomb. The, um, if you use it on this stock uh, tree stuff APTA um, you have to be a little more um, uh, involved when you put this in. You, you have to measure it and meter it. With my pressure ratings here and the sizes, I was able to use this injector where it goes all in, and uh, I like it. It's cheap and simple and uh, very fast to use. But um, if, if you're going to use it into the tree stuff uh, uh, APTA, uh, they want to see a 200 pound maximum in the pressure chamber so you have to you have to get an inflator that allows you to m measure it and control it as it's going in I can tell you ahead of time by working with my unit which is the same volume um, uh, that the uh, a 12 gram cartridge will not produce enough pressure for you you'll get about 125 130 psi out of that and the 16 gram cartridge will overpressure. Uh, you'll get about, about 230 psi out of that. So you're going to need an inflator where you can uh, control that and um, uh, stay under that 200 pound limit. 
Uh, I think that's uh, pretty much. Wouldn't it be nice someday to be able to buy uh, an aluminum version of this? Thanks for watching, guys.